Welcome back to another episode of Rating My Subscribers Snowmobiles. We are still playing catch up with all the submissions I had from the past couple weeks that I have not gotten to. Once again, if I did not get to your sled and you sent it a while ago and it is not in today's video, send me another DM, ask me when I'm going to get to the sled and it will be in the next video. Likewise, if you guys are watching this and you want your sled featured in a video, all you got to do is head over to my Instagram. I'm going to go ahead and throw it up on the screen right here. Send me a DM with a picture of your sled, what's done to it, and make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will get it in a future episode. With all that being said, let's get into today's video. First up, we got Chris. He has a 95 XLT special. Motor swap with a 96 XLT special because the last one blew up. He has a 30 degree angle bar riser and also is extended to a 136, which is pretty awesome because I know back in the day, long tracks, like 136 is like a long track. It's not a common thing. Nowadays, like everything, like the standard is 136. Like you really don't see 121s anymore. So super clean sled, bro. I like the extended track. Love old school Polaris's. Love to own one myself. I'm going to go ahead and give this sled an 8. Next up, we got Joe. He is a 2018 SKS 800 146. GGB Mountain Can BMP Y Pipe Ice Scratchers. And he will be upgrading the bumpers and putting a wrap on. Also has a clutch kit. So super sweet sled. My dad has his exact sled, except for he snow checked it with an 850. What a blast of a sled to ride. It's going to look amazing with the wrap on, and I bet the GGB sounds sick because I had the GGB on my 850, and it sounded pretty awesome. Clean sled, bro. Once you wrap it and you put the bumpers on, it is going to be a beautiful sled. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8. Next up, we got Chevy Papa 99. This is his 96 Articat ZR580 as an MBRB can, pistons, 800 clutch, card kit, and plastic skis. Super cool sled, old school Articast. These things absolutely ripped and they sounded nasty while doing it. Awesome sled, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an eight. Next, we got Drew. He has a Polaris Matrix 850 launch. Bought it after having a fire in his garage that destroyed everything and spread to his house. New buffer coming for it as it was a demo. First of all, bro, I am extremely sorry to hear about the fire at your house. That's uh, very sad, very unfortunate, and something I wish nobody would go through. I never want to go through it. It's actually one of my biggest fears is having a house fire. So, bro, I'm extremely sorry to hear about that. Seems like you're doing okay now, though, and you got an absolutely beautiful sled. We have not had too many Matrixes on this series yet. You're one of the first. Awesome sled, bro. For the Matrix, you're going to get a 9. And then I will throw in the picture of the sled burnt down. You could see the ashes of the garage, and you could also see the Y pipe to his sled. Once again, bro, I'm extremely sorry to hear about that, and I hope you're doing well. Next up, we got Mr. Evan. Evan has for us a 2014 Skidoo Backcountry 800 with Skidoo handguards, Line Q Gas Caddy 137 track with a 2 inch paddle. Awesome sled. My neighbor's actually looking at getting a 2022 Backcountry 850 XRS. And one thing about the Skidoos that I do love is their Line Q series. I think that's how you pronounce it. With the tunnel bags and the gas cans and all the different accessories, you could clip into the tunnel so easily. Awesome sled. I'm going to give it an 8. Next up, we got Will. Will has an 05 switchback, 600-144. Holy cow, dude, that's a sweet sled, man. I didn't even know they made this body style in a 144. I guess they did because of the RMKs, but you don't see it too often. And, yeah, I can't imagine what it's like to ride that compared to, like, a modern-day 144. It's got to be such a difference. And I, I'd like to actually ride this just to see how it handles. Bro, if you ride this in, like, deep snow, let me know. Like, how, how does it do out there? Is it pretty good? Is it nimble? Can you flick it around a little bit? Nonetheless, bro, awesome sled. I'm going to give this one an 8. Next up, we got Kobe with a 2018 Pro RMK 800-163. He's got an SLP pipe, MBRP can, custom clutching, console vent, torque arm, Zebros AR, short and tunnel with a tunnel cooler, Kurtz gear down kit, Durapro ski rover, revelled Walker Evan shocks for a very soft suspension. Dude, awesome sled. Looks like you put a bunch of time and money in this sled to build it, and I bet it's an absolute blast to ride with all those mods. My dad has a very similar color scheme going with his 2019 SKS 850, and I love the color scheme. I'm a big fan of lime, big fan of blue. I think together they look absolutely amazing. And you got the Kurtz gear down kit on there. Let me know, what do you think of the Kurtz gear down kit? I was heavily considering that for my sled. I've heard some really good things about it, but yeah, let me know what you think of the Kurtz gear down kit. It's a beautiful sled, man. I'm going to give this one a 9. Mm -hmm. 
Next up, we got Luke. Luke has two sluts for us. Obviously, you guys saw the video. I don't have pictures, just the video. First slut is a 95 SKU Mach 1, 670 double pipe, and the second slut is an 03 Summit Rotex 700. Bro, just based off the sound of those sluts alone, you're gonna get an eight. Last but certainly not least is Camden. Camden has two sluts for us, so we're going out with a bang. First slut is his dad's 19 MXZ X 850, and it's clutched. That sled alone is a gorgeous sled. The new Skidoo's just, they, they look awesome. I, I really need to hop on one and ride one and see if I change my mind about the way I like the ride because they're just looking better and better by the year. This sled is gonna get an eight and a half. Next sled is his 08 Renegade 600 and clean sled, looks pretty stock. I think if you put a shorter windshield on it and maybe threw a wrap on it, you would extremely like really clean up the look of the sled and make it look a lot more aftermarket. Nonetheless, bro, sweet sled, I'm gonna give this one a seven and a half. For you guys, that is gonna be all we have time for in today's episode of rating my subscriber snowmobiles. As I said earlier in the video, if you guys want your sled rated, head over to my Instagram, send me a DM with a pic or a video of your sled and what's done to it. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and we will get it in a future episode. Hopefully next week, I will have a new toy coming for the channel. I've been really working working hard on getting one. It's just a matter of finding the right one. So hopefully next week we should have something new on the channel and I'm really excited to bring that on. Other than that, I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, smash a huge thumbs up on today's video. In the comment section below, let me know what your favorite sled of the day was. And like I always say, if you're new here or you've been watching for a while and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. I've been riding, rolling, drinking, smoking. That's something I do. I've been